premiering September 14th. And welcome back to Lambeau Field in Green Bay, where the Packers lead the Lions 17 to 6, getting ready for the start of the third quarter. And enter to win great prizes on FoxSports.com. Play You Call It all season long. And today's halftime question is, which team will have more rushing yards in the second half? Log on to FoxSports.com to answer. All right, so the Green Bay Packers have the lead, Matt, as uh, we have the intermission right now, and uh, a lot of questions for the Packers coming in. One question, I guess, uh, answered to the affirmative, the offensive line. I think the offensive line is the difference in this first half of the football game. They ran the ball very well. They protected far. They were able to keep Detroit's defense on the field, and if you can't get off the field defensively, you're going to have some problems. Conversely, in the second, the latter part of the second quarter, Scott Mitchell came alive. And, and now the question in the second half is going to be, can he continue to have that kind of thing going? Because if he does, this turns into a great football game. Well, the Lions uh, were put in a hole on a decision to go for fourth down and inches on their own 41 early in the game. And not only did it backfire, they didn't get it, but Leroy Butler ran it in for a 32-yard touchdown on a fumble return. So they got into a hole early. Not what you want playing a team you haven't beaten in the last six tries here. Yeah, and then and then the thing is, you know, you have to give, you have to be able to have your offense get some consistency. It can't be big plays because if it's big plays, Favre gets another shot. So you have to be able to keep Red Favre off the field just like they have to do a job of keeping Sanders off the field. Barry Sanders, 10 carries, 43 yards. And there you're looking at the overall team statistics so far. Rushing yards virtually even, which is a win for the Packers. And uh, the total yards even. But the big turnover has been critical for the Green Bay Packers. And Dorsey Levins with 14 carries, 44 yards, and a, touch, and a touchdown. And, Matt, look how many times he touched the ball in the first half. Well, they weren't going to waste any time. They're going to throw him right into the fire. He knew it. They knew it. But there's something to be said for his conditioning. And he went, he said he, he, he was running two days, or two hours every morning, then lifting weights, and then running again in the afternoon. That's running shit. This is football shape, and it's different. And the other thing is, if you're Barry Sanders, looks like he got dismantled, and I'm tired of putting him back together. Well, we saw him come out with his shirt out. Now he's tying his shoes, and he's going to go in there pretty fast because the Lions will get the ball. Those are the numbers on Sanders, whose longest rush was 18 yards. Keep in mind that Barry Sanders has a string, and he holds his own record of 14 consecutive games that he has rushed for 100 yards or more in a game. Second half kickoff, and Terry Fair, the rookie from Tennessee, returning it for the Lions. Terry Fair has Longwell on the sideline, and a great return by Fair as he is knocked out of bounds at midfield. Yeah, and a nice job by Longwell, because Longwell was smart enough to be able to take away the angle so he could, in fact, and he used the sideline to be able to let this thing go. The good job up front by the wedge, bad job by Bill Schrader stopped his feet. Watch Longwell. See, he took this part away from him, and he made him have to go outside. And for a kick, I have to take my hat off to the kicker. A rare thing for you. Well, I'm putting it right back on right now. <laughs> well, the Lions thought they might have the edge in special teams. Let's see if they can capitalize. Sanders going outside, and Barry is hit by Bernardo Harris. Tyrone Williams made the first hit after a gain of five. And the best move that Barry Hand has had in this game so far was getting dressed right before the half. He was, he, he's still putting stuff back yeah, on. Very fast at doing that. You now you notice this Detroit Lions, they don't have the silver pants, they have those blue drawers. And I like the drawers, I don't like the socks. I think the I socks think, are ugly. I think they're called pants, not drawers. Now, nah, drawers, what the heck? You put them on the same way. Honolulu Blue. Sanders. And Sanders with a first down, I believe, inside the 40-yard line. George Kuntz on the tackle. The Lions trying to get back in this game. Field goal before half. Cut the lead 7 to 11 points. Well, you know, you saw that question at halftime. Who will have more rushing yards? If, in fact, Sanders gets more tries, I vote for him. First down for the Lions at the 39 of Green Bay. Short drop, ball batted in the air. Reggie White got his hand up. He's had a very, right time. yeah, he's had a very, very quiet day today. 
Reggie White has. But the one thing that you'll always know about Reggie White, even in his 14th year, actually it's more than that because of the USFL, even now, Reggie White will always play a solid game. You'll always know that he's going to hold up the run part of the game, and in the pass game, you still have to be aware of it. Second down and 10. Vardell trying to block for Sanders. Does a good job. Barry Sanders still on his feet. And finally ridden out by Pryor, but not before he picks up a lion first down at about the 26. A gain of 14. Remember the Thanksgiving Day game a few years ago against the Chicago Bears when he got hit by like five guys, and then he did this curly move right in the middle of it? Right there. So you can never stop with Sanders. He's, he's just phenomenal. Nice job of Pryor of staying on top of him. And you're getting a lot of stooge mentions. Uh, well, in hey, you know, like I said, 70 fennip. First three, you have to give them their due. Boy, you're giving them their due. He's the closest thing to Curly Howard I've ever seen. Averaging 5.2 yards a carry. First down Lions. They're on the Packer 25. Time for Mitchell. Good coverage downfield. And he tried to throw it away, it appeared, and nearly was picked off. Rasby defended by Newsom. And Newsom very nearly uh, had himself an interception. Second and that's the one thing that the Lions hope Scott Mitchell cuts down on is when he doesn't see something, not to force it. Well, I mean, actually, you know, he, he did try to sneak that thing in there, but he was smart in keeping it low. If it wasn't going to be completed, it was going to be... Uh, it wasn't going to be picked is what I want to right. say. That would have been real good if it wasn't going to be completed and incomplete. That was smart, huh? Well, there's Gilbert. Lions are... Facing a second down and ten. Mitchell's pass, and once again, good pressure up front. It was uh, Santana Dotson who got up there along with Vaughn Booker. I think Santana Dotson, and it's been said, Santana Dotson has been the most consistent defender, not lineman, defender the Green Bay Packers have had. Now, he's not a real powerful guy, but he can use power. He doesn't have a ton of movement, but he gets by with it. But what he is, is really slippery. He's one of those guys that is very unorthodox. I think he's a good football player. He is that. Lions have converted only one third down situation. They need 10 yards. Mitchell going for Moore. And Moore, touchdown, touchdown. Lions. He bobbled it and held on. A 25-yard touchdown pass to Herman Moore. That was an excellent job by Herman Moore to stay with it. Nice job by Scott Mitchell in the offensive line. Mitchell came to the line of scrimmage, knew that he had one man-to-man -man coverage outside with Newsom, and Newsom knows it too. Now look at this, bobble, 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 hold, push. And because of the push, that would give, that would verify the touchdown. Because if he's still bobbling it and then goes out, no good. But if he gets pushed out, then that actually helps right. it. I think he had both feet in when he did have you're possession, right. but you're right, if you get pushed out, and he got one foot in, that would be a score. And now the Lions going for the two-point conversion, and the Packers, taken unawares, will call the timeout. So a critical timeout. That should never happen. That's called preparation. And that didn't work for the Packers. Give them a D on that one. Jerry, Jerry, my divorce caused my weight gain. I'm suffering from divorce fat. That's a show, Jerry. Well, I'll think about it. Hey, Jerry, I had a sex change, had it reversed, then had it done again. I'm sorry, we've already done that show. Jerry, I was abducted by alien twins. No more abduction shows. Too bad, I had one of their babies. Jerry, what's up? The Jerry Springer Show. It's a crazy world. Have fun with it. Weeknights at 10 at CFMT. My lover doesn't satisfy me. Oh. yourself. Double layer fly for good solid support. Fruit of the Loom. Really, really comfortable underwear. 
The Suit Exchange celebrates the grand opening of their second location at Heartland Town Center, featuring famous designer menswear direct from Italy, suits, sport jackets, dress shirts, and sportswear, all at 20 to 60% off. The biggest name's too hot to advertise. Celebrate the grand opening with this and more door crashers. Kenneth Cole downfill jacket, 70% off, now $79.99. The Suit Exchange, big names, big savings, big time. Now two locations in Canada, 55 Orpheus Road in Heartland Town Center, Mississauga, now open. Why get out of the Army? Just make a pass at your commanding officer. The Simpsons. Monday at 6. A star is bored. Hello? <laughs> On Frasier. Monday at 6.30. Here at Lambeau Field, the Detroit Lions getting ready for a two-point conversion. They were one for three last year. Packers, caught unawares, had to call a timeout, leaving them with two. 17 to 12 the score. Mitchell to Morton, and he can't make the play, and the score will remain 17 to 12. Newsom defending Morton. On the same kind of play. Here is a touchdown play again. Herman Moore held on for the touchdown. Now the most trusted name in winter boots goes to work. Made to take whatever the work could dish out. Sorel protects you better, lasts longer, and feels more comfortable. Get Sorel working for you, whether you're kicking in or just kicking back. Sorel, rugged, Canadian, original. You can dream. This place, authentic Italian cuisine, 2201 Finch Avenue West. We are us and them. We can talk and we can listen. Together, we can work it out. Weekdays at noon on CFMT. Rain-X is a major breakthrough in surface coating technology. Easy to use, the super slick invisible shield repels water, snow, bugs, and grime on contact. Packers lead cut to 17 to 12 after the Lions failed on a two-point conversion, but in a game of streaks today, that was the first touchdown pass allowed in 26 quarters by the Green Bay Packers. Well, again, it goes back to what Herman Moore said. If I'm even, I'm open. Here's Hansen's kickoff, and Royal Preston, a yard in the end zone. <laughs> Preston, who had a big game against the Colts last year, and the Packers never forgot about it, brings it out to the 17. Well, Tuesday, find out who survives the big propane blast and who doesn't on the season premiere of King of the Hill. Then see why Sue is the breakout personality of the new season series premiere of Costello before an all-new Guinness. That's Fox Tuesday starting at 8, 7 Central, and there's a possibility that you'll see history in the making. If Mark McGuire or Sammy Sosa is poised to break Roger Maris's record, we'll have that game for you at 8 p.m. Eastern. Now watch Corey Schlesinger coming down on special teams. This is about collisions, and he knows how to collide. Just runs flat over Pat Terrell and then gets his face in on the tackle. First down for the pack. Favre gets a rush, and a pass up the middle, incomplete, intended for Freeman. Good pass rush that time by the Lions. Does this look like a different Detroit Lion team no all of a sudden? No question about it. It's completely different. And they're coming after people. Their offensive line picked it up. Scott Mitchell's picked it up. And when you can do that, you give your defense a blow, and they can start to pick it up. Richard Jordan, number 99, playing the middle of the linebacker. Uh, Played well. He's a good teams man, and uh, he played well in the final preseason game. He's got good size. He came in on Favre on the last play. Second and ten. 
Again, Favre wants to throw it. And now the pass, and an unusual pass, Levins just standing there, a minimal game, with Aldridge coming over to make the play. That's good coverage down the field by the Detroit Lions. Aldridge is able to hold back. See, the Detroit Lions switch to a 34 defense now. They're going with all their, they're going with four linebackers. You can see one, two, three, four. Still lots of time, covered, covered, covered. Favre has to go out and then find Levins back inside. All of that means that the Detroit Lions had good coverage down the field. It's really the first time Favre's had to do any of that. Bill Schrader has come in, four wide receivers for the Packers for the first time today on third and four. And the pass, <laughs> it's caught by Freeman, but that'll be short of the first down. Hit immediately on a crunching hit by Kevin Abrams. And it's fourth down and they'll have to punt. And he's fired up about that because he read it perfectly and jumped it right away. They're just gonna run a simple cross route. They're gonna try to get the first. Antonio Freeman hangs onto it. Abrams hits him perfectly. That's good football all the way around. Kevin Abrams starting in corner. He was the nickel guy last year, but now he's the starter with Westbrook and playing well today. Sean Landetta, the kick, gets off a beauty, sending Terry Fair way back inside the 15. Fair with a 50-yard return the last time. Puts a move on Davis and is finally down at the 35-yard line that, uh, after a return of 17 yards. 17 to 12, Green Bay. We'll be right back. We all know that furniture polish smears glass. And glass cleaner leaves wood looking dry. So it can often be very frustrating cleaning combination furniture. Ah. Now there's a way to end that stress. New Pledge Wood and Glass, made from a balanced cleaning formula with natural citrus extracts. It brings out your wood's inner beauty and leaves your glass sparkling. Ah. Pledge Wood and Glass, a clean combination. S.E. Johnson Wax. <sighs> Amusement? No. Nine-letter word for fun? No. Mm. <laughs> Introducing Instant Crossword. Laughter. A fun and easy new instant lottery you play with words. Jolly, mirth. Scratch away letters, <gasps> uncover words, win up to $50,000. Facetious. Oh, ah, I got another word. Hey, that looks like fun. Hilarious. Hilarious. That's it, hilarious. New Instant Crossword. Fun is <gasps> the word. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, you've heard it all before. Long distance for 15 cents a minute. Long distance for 10 cents a minute. Well, let me clue you into a little secret. I've been calling my friends and family in Ontario and Quebec for just five cents a minute. That's right, five cents a minute with Distributel's convenient long distance savings plan. Any time of the day or night. Call Distributel today at 310 11 12 and start saving real dollars on your long distance calls in Ontario and Quebec. Thy friendship oft has made my heart to break. Do be my enemy for friendship's sake. Jerry Springer at CFMT in a class by itself. Here's lead 17 to 12. That's Terry Fair taken on the first round by the Lions because he would serve the dual purpose of being a nickel cornerback and a kick returner. Not a real big guy, but a shifty guy. And he, I'll tell you, Tyrone Davis made a great play because had he not made that, Terry Fair is still running. He knew what he wanted to do, come back inside. Look at those return yards for the rookie in his first NFL game. First and ten at the 35. Lions trail by five. Sanders. And it was Brian Williams. Brian Williams made the tackle. Reggie White made the play. But I want you to watch Travis Jervin. See, when you're an all-pro special teams guy, they always know where you're at. He beats the double team, and they turn him over. Now, look, they also assigned Corey Schlesinger to put that old rockhead on him. And he knocked him down. So when you're Travis Jervy, you can be guaranteed there's going to be at least two guys on you all the time, and probably three. He was their leading rusher with Levins out in preseason. Second and 10 at the 35. Pressure on Moore, on Mitchell, that is, as he overthrows Bardell. And as Bernardo Harris with the... Pressure. And right now, let's return to Kevin Frazier at our Fox Television Center in Los Angeles. Kevin? The Skins and the Giants, this was a very close game. Gus Barat looking, finds 
a guy in a blue shirt. Michael Strahan, he goes 24 yards. Back-to-back -back possessions, back-to-back -back interceptions, back-to-back -back scores for the Giants. It's 24 to 10, guys. Giants don't have Jason Seahorn to return passes and interceptions. And, and the Redskins don't have a quarterback. First, third down and 10, and the pass incomplete. Good this coverage. has been the best pass rush put on by the Packers today. That time, Santana Dotson and Keith McKenzie. McKenzie was there. Dotson was there. And an excellent job of coverage down the field, and the fans know it. Dick, they could also sense that it was starting to slip away from them. That was a big series for the Packers. You're right, because uh, Detroit got the field goal at the end of the half and then the touchdown here in the third. So let's see if the Packers effectively blunted the Lions' momentum. John Jett on the kick. Roll Preston. That was a good high kick by Jett. 5-0 on the hang time. That's pretty good. And Preston can't even get back to the 15-yard line. 9.51 remaining in the third quarter. Packers lead by less than a touchdown. We'll be back. Think big. The biggest and best selection of big and tall menswear in Canada. George Richards Big and Tall Menswear now open at Heartland Town Center. Find the new looks of the season, including big names like Chaps by Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, Quick Reflex, and more in our biggest newest concept store in Canada. Celebrate the grand opening of George Richards Big and Tall Menswear with big savings on the best Canadian-made big and tall clothing collection in Canada. Think big. George Richards Big and Tall Menswear, Heartland Town Centre, Mississauga, now open. Da Mondo Italia Furniture c'è un overstock. Nessuna offerta ragionevole sarà rifiutata. Visitate Mondo Italia. Da Mondo Italia c'è sempre una vasta selezione. Se cercate dei mobili, Mondo Italia è il posto ideale da visitare. Troverete un vasto assortimento di mobili a prezzi imbattibili. Da Monte Italia vi garantiamo ottimo servizio, modelli esclusivi e pezzi imbattibili. Da Mondo Italia c'è un overstock. Visitate Mondo Italia per un eccellente affare su mobili di qualità. Yo, you think you're the bomb? You're about to explode. What were you thinking about? Every day people, every day on Jenny Jones. Weekday mornings at 11 at CFMT. This game is brought to you in part by Valvoline, the number one choice of top mechanics. Stay with us for the Greater Milwaukee Open immediately following the football game here at CFMT. Neil Dick Stockton, Matt Millen, third quarter, and the Packers lead 17 to 12. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Got a good seat today. Hand off to Dorsey Levins, dives forward for a couple of yards. Take a look at the Green Bay Packers when they've been on offense. They got a field goal on their first possession. Then a touchdown, and uh, they have stalled a bit since then. Yeah, really, in, a, in this, uh, these last two right here, that's got to be their biggest concern. And that just tells you a little bit about the adjustments made at halftime by Larry Pecatello and the Detroit Lions. Pecatello, of course, is a defensive coordinator for the Lions. Second and six. Smoke, smoke! Barb's quick pass to Schrader. And uh, Westbrook was defending. It'll be third and short for yeah. the Packers. Did you see where he marked the football? That's a good job by the official. You see, they ended up, Schrader tried to reach out and get the ball forward, and he lost control of it. And so they're going to take, see right there, now he reaches forward. Had he held to the ball, it would have been up here. But because he didn't, they mark it back here. He kind of lost it out of bounds. A good call. Dale Williams, the head linesman, alert on the play. So it's a third down two for the Packers on their 23. Derek Mays goes in motion. And Favre's pass up the middle is caught for the first down by Jeff Thomason. 
So Thomason is wearing a brace. He's got ankle and knee problems and hasn't played much lately. Picks up 13 key yards for the first down. That's a pretty courageous play by Thomason. See what they want to do, get Mays out there, create a pick. It doesn't happen. Detroit covers it right away. But Favre has the wherewithal to be able to see the whole field come back and is able to pick Thomason up down inside. I watched Thomason practice the other day. He doesn't. He walks with a limp all the time. First and ten Packers, they get out of trouble. They're on the 36. Levin's trying to get outside and does a good job before Stephen Boyd punches him after a pickup of about two. Detroit's picked up the pace. I'm impressed with what they've been able to, to shift gears, especially on defense. It all starts up there with Luther Ellis. And then I think those linebackers, I think it's going to take a while for this group to start to feel what they're all about and learn each other because you do have Aldridge, you do have Fredrickson, you have Kerwin Waldrop back in the lineup, you have Dan Owens, 90. It all takes time until you have that nonverbal communication to know what each one's doing. I think the difference in the game was that bad call and the fourth down gamble that resulted in an easy touchdown for the Pack. On second and seven, and the pass is dropped. It was in the hands downfield of Mark Shimura on a high arcing pass, and Mark Carrier closest to him. Excellent job by Farber to throw, but watch Dorsey Levins. Sees it, throws himself in, and is able to let this ball come off because clearly Shimura had beaten Carrier. That almost looked like that old Oakland Raiders ghost to the post with Dave Casper coming over the shoulder, except Ghost got it done. There's Mark Shimura, pro bowler. Packers have that many. Packers six for nine. They've been pretty impressive on third down conversions. They need seven. Oh, my God. A great catch by Schrader. Oh, oh, man. I tell you, what an athlete. And we say that because he can do so many things. Schrader with the turnaround catch and reception. Good for 13 yards into Detroit territory. Dick, I want you to watch 84, and if that didn't look like Sterling Sharp's 84, yes. nothing did. And what a sharp contrast after the play as opposed to a year ago when Favre went over to congratulate him. Remember last year, he jumped on him. And now, now I think he's matured, and they've accepted it. Yeah, he was in the... Mike Holmgren's doghouse most of last year, but his attitude has changed. He was in Holmgren's dog's doghouse. <laughs> First down, quick pass to Derek Mays. And now the Packers, who lost some momentum, the defense got it back for them, and now they're in rhythm again, a gain of nine. Now, now this is where Holmgren's good. This is where, and, and also Favre. They're on the same page because he's using everybody. Schrader, Mays. You don't see much of Brooks. You saw him, Antonio Freeman. They'll hand the ball off inside into Dorsey Levins. They're using the entire offense and the scheme. That last play was a great job of Favre just throwing it to the guy who nobody's covered. Second down and one at the 39 of the Lions. Nearly six minutes remaining in the third quarter, and Levins trying to turn the corner, and good pursuit by Alan Aldridge, who has a Super Bowl ring and now wearing the uniform of the Lions. You know, I, I liked Alan Aldridge last year. I thought, I thought he picked up his game for the for the uh, Denver Broncos and now they've changed him from the middle backer to the outside backer and he's still a big thick guy it's a little different when you're on the corner these things come at you from one side when you're in the middle you have to see the whole field they're happening all over the place so it's a little bit of adjustment for him, but I think he's doing pretty well and he wanted to move outside and do more third down and one William Henderson and let's see where the forward progress is Anderson trying to get the one yard for the Green Bay first down. That looked like a pretty healthy spot, if you ask me. They're going to measure. Bobby Ross. I don't know. That, look, that looked like to me when you're building, when you say, you know, you measure it, and it says, you know, eight three-quarters strong. That looked like strong right there. That looks like ten strong. That's the terminology we use a lot. Oh, yeah, you and I, when we're building all the time. <laughs> well, you're a legitimate builder. <laughs> Ross and Holmgren eyeing the measurement. Now, there's a flag down right now. Yeah. And I wonder if they didn't have, what the heck is going on there? Stephen Boyd's not pleased with it. 
Too many men on the field. Yeah, Kerwin Waldrop started to run off and then came back, and I never saw it. First down. 12 men on defense. And I never saw the flag being thrown. All of a sudden, I just saw it kind of land there. I think they threw it right on the football. <laughs> you know what? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve guys. One of them tries to run off, and then at the last second, he comes back in, and it was twelve. Yeah, there he is, right there. See? Well, it's. That it was Kerwin Walter. Well, at least those guys didn't have to run on the field to measure. First down at the 33-yard line. Brett Favre with a play fake. Chase from behind, and the pass into the end zone. Bobbled and incomplete. Schrader defended by Brian Westbrook and very nearly pulled it in. Would have been another circus catch by Bill Schrader if he had. I thought, I thought he had an excellent position by Brian Westbrook. But a nice job on the front end by Favre because he feels Porsche. He comes across the back. And he knows he's going to, because you can feel that stuff. And the ball's in the air. It's a jump ball. Westbrook goes up. Schrader almost comes down with another Sterling catch. 84 was Sterling. I have to say it. Yes. There's uh, Schrader now back on the sideline after that long run to the end zone. Second and 10. And Dorsey Levins. And... Uh, Loss on the play will bring up third and long. You know, Dick, watching Dorsey Levins right now, it looked it, right now, it looks to me like like that training camp, those training camp legs have set in. Because he didn't quite have that little bounce and explosiveness that he had earlier in the game. It's interesting, Matt, that when Levins has come out and he hasn't been out much, they have not brought in any other running back other than William Henderson, as we now have the 12th play of the drive. Third down and 13 on the Lion, 36. Barb is looking and firing, and the ball is caught. First down, and it was Derek Mays with a great catch. Abrams was yes. right on top of him, Dick. That is one of those things that you and I talked about when we were watching the tape of Brett Favre. Sometimes you can do everything right, and he still beats you. And now you can see Verba, Marco Rivera, Frank Winters, and Dorsey Levins all on that left side, giving him lots of time to throw. But here's the key. See, he's able to break. Watch the break by Abrams. Because he bought that extra time with those feet, that was the difference in the first down. Abrams with the hit, trying to jar the ball away. First down for the Packers on the 21. And Levins, and it's uh, Kerwin Waldrop, who's... Won the starting job over Tracy Scroggins and showing why. Yeah, and bigger and stronger than he was a year ago. We talked to him before the game. He, you know, he's a thinker. He's one of those guys. He's kind of a wild man when he plays, but there's a lot of thought goes into what he wants to get done. And one of the things he wants to try to get done better at is holding that outside edge. He and I were talking about it prior to the game. I think he's, he's well on his way. Winding down to three minutes remaining. In the third quarter, second down and 10. And the slant caught by Mays inside the 15, short of the first down. But this is a long drive testing the Lions' defense, and it's uh, moving on to seven minutes. One thing, Dick, that hasn't happened against the Lions today, and something they anticipated, was their corners getting tested with the deep ball. Now, we saw it, we've seen it repeatedly with Newsom. And I, I'm kind of surprised that they haven't seen it against these two young corners, especially Abrams, who's not the biggest guy. He's 5'8". Westbrook's big, bigger than that. Third down and three. Good pickup off the blitz and the pass to Mays. First down, Packers. Inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Carrier and Abrams on the tackle. That you can credit right there, William Henderson, number 33. So much of this game relies on being able to pick up the pressure. And you have to have everybody right. Watch Henderson. Boom. Delivers him right to the face on Fredrickson, the linebacker. Creates the time for Favre. He's able to step and throw. And it's a first down inside to Mays. And Mays has been a very big hog in this drive in Lion territory. First and goal at the seven. Favre has three wide receivers. 
And the wraparound draw to Dorsey Levins. Levins inside the five to the four yard line. A play made famous by the 49ers and Roger Craig many years ago. Remember it well. Didn't quite look the same there with Dorsey with his uh, preseason legs. <laughs> I'll tell you this though, they, they have not shied away from their paying them, they're playing them. Soon you're going to say minicamp legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's past that. He's, he might be back to the minicamp. Second and goal at the four. And Favre going to Levins, and he is hit by Aldridge. And may lose a yard on the play. It'll be third and goal coming up. This whole series, the Green Bay Packers offensive line has gone back to what they were doing in the first half. They haven't gotten much pressure on Favre. That time he got knocked down after the ball was thrown. But they've kind of taken back the game. It's a big down right now for the Detroit Lions. Now the Packers and Brett Favre have spread the ball around. This is everyone who's had at least two catches in the game. Levin's leading the way with six. Third down and goal, and here is the fade pattern, and it's caught for the touchdown by Freeman. A six-yard touchdown pass to Antonio Freeman. And the Packers get a very big score here in the late stages of the third. That was a perfectly thrown ball. The trajectory came right down. I mean, it had to be thrown right where it was. Watch, he's working up Bryant Westbrook. Westbrook's going to try to take something away, so he knows he's going to go outside. See how the ball came down this way? I mean, it didn't come flat. It came down over the top, and Freeman body positioned it perfectly. And the extra point by Longwell. Freeman did not jump into the stands after that touchdown catch, however. Watch this, Dick. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. Packers lead 24 to 12. Brett Favre's first touchdown pass of the season. A 9-34 scoring drive that went 85 yards, capped with Freeman's catch. Mays with four receptions and 39 yards in the process. And the Packers rebounding after the Lions looked like they had taken over the tenor of this game. Longwell's kick to Terry Fair. He'll run it out from the end zone. Terry Fair showing speed. Trying to turn the corner, and Terry Fair in a foot race. At six points. And he's going to score. And that'll be 101 yards for the rookie from Tennessee. And that gets the Lions back in there. In a hurry. Excellent job by the Detroit Lions and just getting a hat on a hat. And he's been returning kicks like that all day, Matt. He really has. I mean, you can watch. They're just going to get the most important guys. They just get a body on a body, and then it just turns into a foot race with Terry Fair. Didn't make a bit of difference. You had no angle. McGarrahan tries the angle, but Fair had too much for him. And time has run out. No time remaining. The Lions will try the extra point. And this is the reaction of an elated Detroit Lions bench. When the wind was knocked out of their sails moments ago after that nine minute 34 second drive, they come right back in resounding fashion. Jason Hansen with the extra point. It's good, and that is the end of the third quarter with the score. The Packers 24, the Lions 19. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after. Step up. International Kids Labor Day weekend back to school warehouse sale. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on! It's a big game. Be part of Bugs' big Super Bowl event. Must be linked for the age for which is necessary. The Packer lead cut quickly to 24 to 19 on Terry Fair's 101 yard kickoff return. He has returned five of those for an average of nearly 45 and a touchdown. A fair beginning, so to speak. <laughs> to say the least. The nice way to break into the National Football League. I just a little reminder there, Mr. Fair, it's not that easy. <laughs> well, Preston Roel will be uh, trying to see if he can uh, 
do a back-to-back -back return. He's back there with Travis Jervy as Jason Hansen prepares to kick off. This is the start of the fourth quarter near Lambeau Field. That's Johnny Holland next to Mike Holmgren. He is the special teams coach in his first year in that role. Nick Stockton and Matt Millen with the Packers lead by five. Here's Preston. And on the goal line, here's Roel Preston returning. And Preston's still on his feet. He gets by Hansen. And Preston may score. No, no, he will score. Okay. 99 yards. Unbelievable. Unbelievable back-to-back -back kickoff returns for touchdowns. Hey, I got to tell you people as you're watching, Stockton just predicted that. Well, I remember a long time ago when I was a kid and M. Tonell of the Giants, Buddy Young of the Yanks, 100-yard touchdown returns back-to-back -back on kickoffs. Johnny Holland's got to feel good about it. I think Johnny Holland just went from the outhouse to the penthouse. <laughs> Roll Preston does the whole thing, and a great job by Blair. Watch Blair, 27. See, because he stayed with his block, he enabled them to be able to redirect and come back, and it's six quick. And the extra point by Longwell is good, and the Packers again lead by 12, 31 to 19. There's Johnny Holland cheering on Roel Preston, and the Packers with a 99 kickoff return that time. Think big. The biggest and best selection of big and tall menswear in Canada. George Richards Big and Tall Menswear now open at Heartland Town Center. Find the new looks of the season, including big names like Chaps by Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, Quick Reflex, and more in our biggest, newest concept store in Canada. Celebrate the grand opening of George Richards Big and Tall Menswear with big savings on the best Canadian-made big and tall clothing collection in Canada. Think big. George Richards Big and Tall Menswear, Heartland Town Centre, Mississauga, now open. Transmission problem. It's not what you had wanted. You knew that. The refreshing thing is, he knew it also. It's the job of every Amco Center technician to take what's wrong with your transmission and make it right. Every Amco certified technician is a dedicated transmission specialist. He's why they've been around for 35 years. He's why you go to Amco. Amco, AA, MCO. Now the most trusted name in winter boots goes to work. Made to take whatever the work could dish out, Sorel protects you better, lasts longer, and feels more comfortable. Get Sorel working for you, whether you're kicking in or just kicking back. Sorel, rugged, Canadian, original. Sister, sister, they get in twice as much trouble, but have twice as much fun. It's two times everything, and it's five days a week. Premiering September 14th. Can Bart spring Principal Skinner from his new post? How do I get out of the Army? Just make a pass at your commanding officer. The Simpsons. Monday at 6. And this crowd, with a rhythmic chant, there is Roel Preston, who impressed the Packers, returning seven kicks against the Colts last year for over a... 200 yards, a club record. Here's Terry Fair. Anyone for three? Not this time. Terry Fair is brought down at the 27-yard line. But a spectacular back-to-back -back kickoff touchdown foray by Terry Fair. 101 yards and Roel Preston for 99 yards. And next week, it's big game game with Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader. First two NFC Central rivals clash. Buccaneers take on the Packers. And a battle for the ages as Troy Aikman and the Cowboys line up against John Elway and the Broncos. Coverage begins at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check your local listing. So the Lions again down by 12. First down on the 27 play action pass. And it's caught by Johnny Morton. And a big gainer near midfield for Morton and the Lions of 19 yards. You know, lost in all that, Darren Sharper's back on the field. And a nice job again. They go play action, a good job by the offensive line of the Detroit Lions. And you see how they're trying to pick the pace up. They're trying to pick it up, and Green Bay's trying to slow it down. First down, Barry Sanders. 
trying to put a move on, and he does on Newsom. And finally wrestled down shy of midfield by Reggie White, of all people. Well, you just keep on. You know, the one thing you do with Barry Sanders is you never quit. He's going to make you miss. You got to get back up on your horse and keep going after him because you may miss him at one spot, and he takes off to another. The chances of him coming back are just as good as the first time. Four-yard gain. He has 72, 71 yards and 15 carries. And he's got a streak going today. Barry Sanders has rushed for 100 yards or more in 14 consecutive games. That's an NFL record, but even more amazing, Matt, he has done it in 10 straight road games. Yeah, that's amazing. Really, There's not an adjective made in any language that can describe Barry Sanders. He's just phenomenal. I mean, that's one of the few guys I would pay to watch. Barry Sanders. Quite a testimonial. Third and seven. Tommy Boyd in, in motion. Mitchell gets away from Reggie White, and this pass is incomplete. It was intended for Boyd. Reggie White made the play. I mean, that whole thing goes back to Reggie White. We haven't said much about him all day, but when it came time to have to make a big third down play, you're going to watch him right up top working on Tharp. He goes with power and just bull rushes him right back. Can't quite get the lock on him, but because of that, he forced the bad throw to the outside. And the Packers will get it back. John Jett will kick. Roll Preston and Mike Pryor back deep for Green Bay. Good kick by Jett. Packers are going to let it bounce. The Lions cannot keep it in play despite the efforts of Robert Bailey. So the pack gets it on the 20 when we come back here in the fourth quarter to Green Bay. Dog. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. I got a parrot that sounds just like Pavarotti. You want to hear him? Yeah. Jerry Springer. In my last life, I was a dog. In my life before that, I was a cat. Yeah. Jerry, my divorce caused my weight gain. I'm suffering from divorce fat. Back to show, Jerry. Well, think about it. The Jerry Springer Show. It's a crazy world. Have fun with it. Weeknights at 10 at CFMT. Jerry. The Suit Exchange celebrates the grand opening of their second location at Heartland Town Center, featuring famous designer menswear direct from Italy, suits, sport jackets, dress shirts, and sportswear, all at 20 to 60% off. The biggest name's too hot to advertise. Celebrate the grand opening with this and more door crashers. Kenneth Cole downfill jacket, 70% off, now $79.99. The Suit Exchange, big names, big savings, big time. Now two locations in Canada, 55 Orpheus Road and Heartland Town Center, Mississauga, now open. Where would you find a style of cooking this unique? Where food is still an art and exotic flavors fill the air. At Swiss Chalet, where we've captured a taste of the Orient. For a limited time, enjoy rotisserie chicken basted with mandarin orange or tangy Thai sauce, plus sesame ginger salad, rice and a mango freeze, all just $7.79. So visit Swiss Chalet, where a taste of the Orient is closer than you think. Starting your engine is a terrible thing to do. That's why you need the kind of protection that only Slick 50 can give. Slick 50, the world's best-selling engine treatment. Matt, how much of a role is Roll Preston and uh, Terry Fair play today in the total yardage story? Of these I games? mean, they, those guys are on fire. And the thing is, they've developed a confidence in their group in a short preseason. Don't forget, with Roll Preston, they took Glenn Milburn and released him, a guy they brought in from Detroit. And Preston still beat the odds, and heck, he's still running. Packers with a first down on their 20. With 12-27, we're early in the fourth quarter. And the handoff to Dorsey Levin still on his feet, and then will lose some yardage as a result. Well, you want some action in this game. How about back-to-back -back kickoff returns for touchdown? First, Terry Fair, and I don't think I can talk this fast, Matt. 101 yards. <laughs> That to me, that's a Stooges right there. That's Malice in the Palace. I remember it very well. Preston, Roll Preston goes 99 Roll Preston right here. This is this is a plumbing we will go oh, with Roll Preston. Oh, my goodness. On the 75th anniversary of the Stooges, they both turn oh. in tremendous oh. returns. I got tongue-tied. <laughs> yeah. Second down and 12. 
Preston now is in the game as a receiver. That's right. Robert Brooks hasn't played much in the second half. Remember, he's coming back from the back surgery. And the handoff is to Dorsey Levins, and Levins takes it out to the 25-yard line. It'll be third and about five. There's a little bit of timing that Levins is getting back right there. And just, they tried to trap play. They tried to bring Marco Rivera out on Robert Porsche. But, you know, John Riggins, the Hall of Fame running back, calls that the point of patience. At one point when you're running the ball, you have to be slow enough and fast enough at the same time. You just have to be patient. And he had it right there. Third down and five on the Green Bay 25. Mays comes in motion toward the line. And here is Levins. And Levins close to the first down. It'll be Greg Jeffries, the dime back, making the tackle. And I think Green Bay will have a new set of downs. They do. And it looks like Ross Verb is getting up slow, not getting up. I want to remind you that uh, next, a Fox Saturday special edition. Mark McGuire has 60 home runs. He goes for 61, maybe 62. He's hit more than one in a game. That's coming up on Fox, coming up next. By the way, Sammy Sosa. One for three with a single for the Chicago Cubs today. Don't be surprised if McGuire breaks Maris's record and then Sosa beats it at the end of the season. There's Ross Berber That's right there, the good. Packers left tackle. That could very well happen, Matt. Meanwhile, the medics tending to Ross Berber. We'll take a timeout. today heck no Frazier's here five times a week weeknights at 6 30 at cfmt get psyched a star is bored hello <laughs> on Frazier monday at 6 30. that's ross burba they're taping up his left ankle on the bench and matt willig will replace him in his sixth season Played his college ball at USC. First and ten at the 30-yard line. Two tight ends in there for Green Bay. Thomason in motion, and the pitch is to William Henderson. And Henderson brings it out to the 35-yard line. You see Ross Verb up top. What's going to happen is that Robert Porsche goes right by Earl Dotson. And then as he's kind of flopping around, he just gets his ankle caught right there. And Kerwin Waldrop just throws him back into the pile. Just watching him down and now he's still getting that ankle taped. Packers lost John Michaels preseason. Meanwhile, Travis Jervy, who is yet to line up in the backfield, is in there now, number 34, on second and five, and he gets the call with Henderson in front. Travis Jervy is what I expected. That makes it great speed, gets a couple. And that makes sense to me, see, because now you kind of wear guys down, bring Jervy in with the fresh legs and the great speed and try to get him to the edge. If he can turn that corner, that's like Sanders. He's a six-quick guy. In fact, he's he's faster than Barry Sanders, one of the fastest guys in the NFL. There's Verba trying to see if he can go. And another point is you see Jervy in there, and they haven't used many running backs after Levins. Raymond Harris, the ex-Bear, inactive for this game. Third down and three on the Packer 38-yard line. 
Good hold by Travis Jervy. Flag is down, and Jervy gets the first down and more to the 46-yard line. Let's see what the penalty is. Well, it's inside. That usually smells like a hold to the offense, and it is. So the first down nullified, and Mike Holmgren will be very upset at the penalty to Marco Rivera, the left down. guard. Well, the one thing that the Packers were really upset about, specifically Mike Holmgren, was the penalties in preseason. And they, they, they had not been a very heavily penalized team. And in the preseason, they, uh, they got their share of them. Ross Verba has returned to the lineup at left tackle. And after the penalty uh, marked off, it'll be third down and 13. Verba back in there. Interesting with Verba with that left ankle. That's your kick foot if you're that left tackle. Your plant foot is your okay. right foot. Your left foot is your kick foot. And if you don't have that to kick, you're susceptible to the outside edge of a pass rush. And that's where he had problems in the preseason. See if Waldrop doesn't, or Strachans is on him out. See if he doesn't try to use that. Schrader to the right and Freeman to the left of the wide receivers for Favre. And Brett Favre, yeah. he hit the flag down. Guess Tracy what? Scroggins gets him. Yeah, and, and it was that kick foot. It's exactly what he did. That's that's good football by Scroggins. In fact, Verber's going to get hot for a hold. Scroggins did just that. He attacked the bad ankle to the outside, went right around him. Verba had to horse collar him, and then still got in and made the sack. Here's Dick Hantat. Favre's mad about something. He's got a lump of grass in his face. He just got sacked. Holding offense, number 78. And you were so Hitler right. Decline, fourth down. It's the feet that count, too. Sure, yeah, when you pass first, watch Verbis. See, here's his bad ankle. Scroggins is going to take advantage of it. He goes right to the top side. You can't kick. And then there was the, the penalty and then the sack. And you got to credit Lions for being alert enough to pick up. Oh, yeah, that's Scroggins. That's good football by, by Tracy Scroggins. You have to know... You have to know your game, and you have to know when a guy is down, you have to take advantage of it. Sean Landetta back to kick, and he gets off the of beauty. Here's Terry Fair. Flag is down. Fair, and he's oh, down play. at the 22-yard line. But And another flag goes down in the form of a hat. First flag went down even before Fair got the ball. Travis Jervy, what a heck of a play. And there is uh, Gary, Gary Lane. Lane, the side judge. He used his flag the first time, and you run out of flags, you go to hats. You run out of hats, you go to beanbags. I won't ask what happens after the beanbags. You rip bag. off your shorts and you <laughs> throw them. <laughs> Illegal block during the return. Number 32, that penalty is declined. That's Bryant Westbrook. Holding while the ball was in the air. Number 25. That penalty is accepted. That's Jeffries. Will penalize half the distance to the goal. Right there. Working on Brett Favre over there. We'll take a timeout. As the you can dream. Rose's Place, authentic Italian cuisine, 2201 Finch Avenue West. You deserve the best that life has to offer. Piazza Woodbridge gives you spacious one, two, or three luxurious bedroom suites. Here at Piazza Woodbridge, we provide you with a personal touch. Surrounded by the Humber River, Piazza Woodbridge is a retreat for the mind and body. Shopping centers and golfing are minutes away. No, no, now that you live in Piazza Woodbridge, I can come visit you every day. Piazza Woodbridge, for the European lifestyle that you deserve. Piazza Woodbridge, a touch of Europe in the heart of Woodbridge. The International Clothiers Labor Day Factory Suit Liquidation continues. The sale is on now. Choose from over 10,000 Italian designer all-wool suits, all at three for one. Buy one, get two free. Famous designers like designer Torellano Rossi, Mazzato, Perry Ellis, and more. Buy one from as low as $195 and get two free. Plus unbeatable 9 a.m. door crashers. Dress shirts, $5. 100% linen shirts, $10. Silk bomber jackets, $25. International Clothiers Labor Day Weekend Factory Suit Liquidation continues in Mississauga, North York, and 111 Orvis Road. 
Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. And then there's Jerry. Jerry Springer at CFMT. You're watching the Lions and the Packers right here at CFMT. He hold him down there. Remember, Brett Favre had part of his intestine removed a few years ago when he was in college. And they're coming back. And then uh, I got to show you something. They did not want anybody to see what was going on. So they, you know, they had the very clandestine operation. Now he's back up and he's strong. But I, I want you to remember, see, that's a quarterback. A quarterback they don't want anybody to know about. If you're a left tackle, doesn't matter. Yeah, and you're Ross Verba, they keep it out in full view. Yeah, it's my ankle. Take advantage. But if you're the quarterback, they don't want anything to happen. I got to say this right now. In my opinion, if the Packers don't have Brett Favre, they're a severely average team. And that's why he's the MVP of the last three years. He's hurting too. I'm telling you, I can see it in his face. Doug Peterson has been throwing down there as well, just in case. Meanwhile, the Lions. Backed up to their 14-yard line. First down, trailing by 12. Mitchell handing off and a fake. Oh, Johnny Holiday he right should, there. Have, should have handed off. Holiday gets him for the sack inside the five. That is the third sack of the game by the Packers. A loss of nine. Dick, they were going to go with play action and try to hit Herman Moore on a comeback to Craig Newsom. But Vonnie Holiday working down here just comes right off the side. See? Ray Roberts. Doubled inside, then came out, and Holiday blew right past him. This is what he wanted to get to. He had single coverage. He had to come back, but because Holiday got there, he couldn't get the ball off. Second down and 19, rookie from North Carolina, who earned a starting position, Bonnie Holiday. Here's Mitchell completing to Johnny Morton. And Morton trying to get some extra yards, brings it out to the 16, still shy by about nine. And right now, let's return to Kevin Frazier at our Fox Television Center in Los Angeles. Kevin? The Giants starting to put it on the Redskins. Danny Connell to Amani Toomer, 22 yards for the touchdown. Gus Farad is out with an injured shoulder. Trent Green running the show. Let's go back to Dick and Matt. Big division game in the NFC East today. I think the Giants have the defense to be able to take him and allow that young Cannell to come on. But here we got third and eight. Looking like a big down for both sides. And there's Mitchell's pass. And it's caught by Johnny Morton. Johnny Morton with a first down covered by Newsom. Packers have done a good job defending, but the receivers have gotten open and a pickup of 19 yards. Nice job of pass protection. And a nice job of Mitchell staying in the pocket because he got away with the hole. Ramirez right there. See, Ramirez threw him down. But a nice job of Mitchell staying in the pocket. When he sets his feet and throws, he's as good as there is. Lions trailing 31 to 19. First down on their 34. And Mitchell's pass caught by Morton again and knocked out of bounds by Newsom and a gain of about seven. Quiet right now by Herman Moore. That tells me he's not 100%. Not only the groin or the abdomen, whatever it is, but also with the shot he took to the head because when they needed to have some confidence before, they went to him. The good thing for the Detroit Lions is they can go right to, to Johnny Morton. And Johnny Morton is picking up the pace right now. Moore still has seven catches and a touchdown, but Morton's been the go-to guy lately. Second down and two. And another play fake. And Mitchell up Ooh. the middle looked like Sanders was the intended receiver, but the pass not close to him as the Packers obviously put the rush on as Mitchell trying to adjust his jersey and pads. Well, you know, he had Rich White coming down from the top side. Bonnie Holiday all of a sudden is trying to pick up his game. 6-11 remaining in the fourth quarter. Spectacular game. We've had a defensive touchdown off a fumble recovery. We've had back-to-back -back kickoff returns for touchdowns as well. Third and two. We're going to give it to Sanders, and he's not going to make it. Uh, Gilbert Brown is right there. If you don't double-team him, he'll put you in the grave like the grave digger says he is. And what did Fritz Shermer say? Cardiovascular-wise, he is as in shape as anyone as despite he's his size, been. right? Yeah, and he's, you know, he's a big man. Obviously, he's a big man, but... He's not wilted today. That's a big down by Gilbert Brown. 
See, he just blows right through the double team, comes from the backside, and they're going to go for it on fourth down. Well, they did it in the first quarter. Not a good idea, and it backfired. This is not a bad idea here. Fourth and three. And there is the pass, oh, and it's much. overthrown. He had him. It was Herman Moore who had beaten his defender, and they turn it over on down. So down by 12. Bobby Ross is a gambling man today as Lions he head coach. See, Mitchell knows because he beat Newsom at the line of scrimmage. He beats the jam. All they have to do is be thrown inside. A little bit more patience, and that was a major play. So he missed the opportunity, and he knows it. Watch, as soon as he throws, he knows he had it. And the reaction of Moore. So this was a better percentage move than the one in the first quarter, but... If you don't make it and the Packers score a touchdown, that's the end of this game. 5.30 to go. There is enough time. Now the Lion defense has to go to work. First and 10 at the 41. Here's Dorsey Levins, and uh, Rob Fredrickson wraps him up quickly. Remember I talked about picking the pace up, and you see Brett Favre is back. Now they're going to milk this clock for all 40 seconds. They haven't even started anything, and they're down to 25. They, they will snap that ball within five seconds of the clock every time. Now they're going to bring Jeff Thomason in and have William Henderson. No, no, Travis Jerby's coming in as a single back. Haven't got to the line of scrimmage. They're down to 10 seconds. Second down and nine at the 40-yard line. That's this shows a lot of confidence right now because Jerby fumbled the ball in the preseason. And they give it to Travis Jerby, going wide. And of course, he goes out of bounds and stops the clock with 4.40 to go. I want to remind you that most of you will see Mark McGuire make his bid for a 61st home run. He's got 60. Fox Saturday Baseball Special Edition. Coming up next, the Reds against the Cardinals from Bush Stadium. McGuire has 60. Maris's record of 61 is in jeopardy. And that's coming up next. I think McGuire would have made a good tight end. Forget that baseball stuff. He could be catching past his brother was a quarterback. That's right. He was bigger than him. Dan McGuire with Seattle and later Miami. Third down and four. A lot of time for far, but nowhere to go. And he's sacked back at the 42-yard line by Kevin Waldrop. So, Matt, the Lions, tough shape, had to hold, and they did that time. Yeah, and the way they got that done, forget the sack. See, that wasn't... That wasn't a great defensive line play by Waldrop. That was excellent coverage down the field. Favre had nowhere to throw that football. And he's hurt. I, I'm watching him. He's hurting because that was not the Brett Favre with his feet moving around as you normally see. He's and been he, sacked twice, knocked down five times, but it did one injury, and you're absolutely right. He's not himself. So Sean Landetta will kick, and Terry Fair going back to the team. Winding down to four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And the flag is down and a delay of the game. And that's a good penalty. That's, see, now, if you're Detroit, you decline that penalty because you don't want to give him any more room to kick. Delay of the game. Billy's accepted. The yardage just declined. Fourth yeah. down. There you go. That's what I would do, too. You, don't, you want to give him a, a shorter field. You don't want to give him a longer field. Make it tougher for him to kick and keep it inside that 20. Landetta will try to keep it in play. And this will sail into the end zone for the touchback with just under four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The Detroit Lions will start from the 20. They need 12 points to tie, and they have all three of their timeouts remaining. And we talked about Matt as we see more overcast than sunshine today. Opening day, kickoff 98 in Lambeau, and the beautiful green and gold. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a gorgeous field, and they, and this whole setting is beautiful. And and there's a reason why it's this pretty. See, because they take their 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 side seriously. And you see what he's doing that seriously. He's keeping it just just right. Each blade meticulously. <laughs> that's why you get. Your, that's how you get your hair cut. Take a little bit off the top and keep it low in the back. First down at the 20 in the pass, thrown into coverage intended for Moore, knocked down. 
by Mike Pryor. And, and also Darren Sharper right there on top. The other thing that's not said about this field, which was noticed immediately by the Detroit Lions, was that the grass was on the high side. See, because they want a slower field with Barry Sanders. When Sanders is in town, it all of a sudden gets a little damper and higher. That's all part of gamesmanship. Baseball teams have been doing that for years. Sanders with 70 yards, but this is a passing situation, and Herman Moore will be a couple of yards shy of the first down with 340 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Lions down by 12, and they're in their hurry-up offense. Third down and one. And a slingshot to Moore, to Morton, and he's got it first down. That's a good throw. He throws it low and away. You have to make the catch, or you'll live for another day. Now they're going to hurry up offense, which, which they had been doing last, last down, like you said. But what that does is it forces Green Bay to have to stay in only a select few coverages. They got a three-man front, and this pass is caught by Johnny Morton, trying to get the first down yardage, and actually lost the yards. There's the timeout story. Craig Newsom hanging on, and now under three minutes to go. See, as you go with your hurry-up offense, you can run your defense, but you're limited with all the calls you can make. So you kind of stay in coverages that you can read a little easier. Lions need two touchdowns. Here's the pressure on Mitchell and the pass downfield, and it was intended for Johnny Morton. That's the fourth time they've tried to go up on Craig Newsom. They started earlier in the game, and they haven't stopped. And he's, he's answered the bell because he's a gamer. Got hurt on the first play of last season. Scott Mitchell trying to get it done today. 19 of 34 for 214 yards. And his touchdown pass to Herman Moore. Third and four. This is a two-down situation for Detroit. And the pass caught by Tommy Boyd. First down, Lions. See, what the, what the Packers are doing is they're just sitting in a zone. And if you're going to do that, you have to try to get your hands on defenders so they just can't run clean. And the Lions will choose to use one of their three remaining timeouts right here. We have 2.31 remaining in the clock. Detroit virtually at midfield. And again, we'll tell you that the Lions need two touchdowns to try to pull this one out against Green Bay. A couple of streaks going today for... The Packers, they have won 23 straight regular season games at Lambeau Field. The NFL record by the Dolphins of 27. And Barry Sanders, who has gained 100 yards or more in 14 straight games, 10 on the road, has 70 yards. So he'll need a long scamper to get to 100 today. That can come at any time. Obviously, at this point, they've got to be able to throw. But more important than throwing, is moving the ball and getting the score because they need two, like you mentioned. Now, the Packers will be happy to give up and let them take the time off the clock going down the field. They're at their own 49, the Lions. First down. Scott Mitchell going deep for Johnny Morton. And Mike Pryor with nice the interception. Play. And the flags are down. Yes, but Pryor picked it off. I think that's going to be offensive interference on Johnny Morton because he pushed Craig Newsom before the catch. In any event, it's good news for Green Bay. Yeah, because Pryor did the perfect job of playing center field. Offense, number 87. Yeah, that's right, Penley call. is declined. First down, Green Bay. Yeah, well, you can see right down here, that's Mike Pryor. He's playing what's called center field, in the middle of the field. He goes to where the ball's thrown. Watch the end. Right there was the push. And because he's sitting here, reading back inside, right, there's the push with the right hand. Pryor just comes over from the middle and makes the play. That requires patience and vision, and he played it perfectly. Mike Pryor led the Packers in preseason with three interceptions, and he has been a valuable man for Mike Holmgren and Fritz Shermer in particular in yeah, the secondary. It's funny, talking to the Green Bay Packers, all the defensive coaches say, we can't run anything without Mike Pryor. <laughs> You know, the secondary is a question mark for the Packers this year, so Pryor is a handy man to have. Dorsey Levins will uh, bring it down to the two-minute warning unless the Lions call a timeout, and they will. It's a good timeout. 
Detroit. And Detroit left with one timeout. Matt, let's take a look now at the Lions' upcoming schedule. Now, this is a team that notoriously has gotten off to slow starts right. last year, losing four of their first ten. Well, unless they change something drastically here and score two touchdowns, they'll open 0-1. That's a team they can win. Here's a division, here's a division, here's a division, and then they're by until they get back to Green Bay and Minnesota. So the front end of their schedule is loaded heavily with division games. And at the end of the season, they have a lot of uh, playoff teams of a year ago, so it doesn't get easy for Bobby Ross. And I said they lost four. They dropped six of their first ten, and that has been the habit the Lions have gotten themselves into, getting off to slow starts. And really, Dick, when you look at what we just talked about there with the season slow starts, it's exactly what they did in today's game. They got off to the slow start to put them in a hole, and they haven't been able to get out of it. Second down and ten for the Packers. And here is Levins. And Dorsey Levins today coming back. And you say, well, he may get fatigued. He may lose the ball, and he may have problems. And Dorsey Levins has been a warrior out there as a running back. And he's going to be one sore warrior come tomorrow and Tuesday. Tuesday is the day that's traditionally the players off day in the league. And it's also the day that you really get tired. Now you may feel a couple of bumps and bruises on Monday, but Tuesday it usually hits you and you're usually drained. It's one of those days where you kind of flop around all day, maybe take a snooze in the afternoon, but he's going to be a hurt fucking root. I even noticed Tuesday after you broadcast the game is a tough day, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really tough, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, the sun comes out, shines on Brett Favre and the rest of the Green Bay Packers as the Lions have used up their third and final timeout. And the Packers will be one more stoppage of the clock at the two-minute warning. Green Bay facing third and eight at the 16. And they're taking the bunning down. Which signifies opening day as nothing else does. Here's Favre going to Freeman. And Antonio Freeman That's down the sideline. And he's going to win this race. Touchdown, Packers. 84. I think Brett Favre ran faster than Antonio <laughs> Freeman for 70 yards. An 84 yard touchdown pass. And that was a speed route the whole way. Freeman was able to run across field, use his speed, catch it, and then use his speed to another gear for six. So both of Brett Favre's touchdown passes today have been to Antonio Freeman. And the extra point by Ryan Longwell, and the kick is good. And the Packers now lead the Lions by a score of 38 to 19. And our two-minute warning right now with 1.53 showing on the clock. Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation Cash and Cars Lottery for Cancer Research is here. Four $1 million prizes and thousands of other cash prizes. 100 Chrysler cars and trucks. Viper GTS, Plymouth Prowler, Intrepid, Jeep Grand Cherokee, and more. Chances of winning are 1 in 12. Check the brochure recently delivered to your mailbox and act quickly to get your ticket on Ontario's largest cash and cars lottery. Dare to compare and you'll see the difference that Townwood Quality makes. At Forest Hill on Bayview, Townwood offers the finest freehold townhomes and detached homes in Richmond Hill. Spacious designs with family living in mind. Dramatic lofts, nine-foot ceilings, gourmet kitchens, and separate walk kitchens, each with the exclusive beauty of DuPont Corian counters. Visit Townwood's fabulous models today on Bayview north of Major McKenzie. With an impressive collection of plans to choose from, you'll find the best lots at the best prices from the best builder in town. The case of the malicious mammaries. I would always do the boobs on the head. On the season premiere of The People's Court. Monday morning at 9. 
Stay with us for the Greater Milwaukee Open immediately following the football game here at CFMT. No one more happy than Brett Favre right now. Yeah, and you just see how he's throwing stuff at people, but he was just <laughs> leaning over, sucking air, because he just ran 70 yards. I think the most running he's done in preseason. You're right, he outran Freeman, who scored the touchdown. The first thing, they go play action, a nice job by the offensive line. You know, watch Bryant Westbrook right there. See, Freeman goes inside, then back outside. Favre gives him time with the air under the ball, and then it turns into a foot race. And at the end of this, I want you to watch. See, he knows. Watch his face. See, he knows. He starts to play right there. Oh, yeah, a little bit in, a little bit out. And then on the other side, Favre sees it right away. And he knows it's six, and then he starts. <laughs> this, is the most, this is his conditioning for the 1998 season. <laughs> and he was shaken up before, but he looked like he was back there. Here is Scott Mitchell on first down. The pass caught by Jermaine Crowell, and Crowell close to the first down. By the way, that 84-yard catch by Freeman was his longest NFL reception and his second TD of the game. First and 10 at the 30-yard line with just about a minute and a half remaining in what will be a Packer victory on opening day. The pass tipped away, intended for Kriblevich incomplete, stopping the clock. But Green Bay up 38 to 19. As we mentioned, Freeman with uh, his longest catch of his career, capping a quick 86-yard drive. There's a guy to the left, Roel Preston. If the Green Bay Packers can pat somebody on the back today, it's Roel Preston because they seemingly had everything going the other way, and he gave it right back to them. Yes, he did, in a hurry, after Fair had given the Lions hope with a 100-yard kickoff return. Here is Crowell, and he picks up about eight yards. You know, the Detroit Lions, I don't know what they're going to say about Herman. Herman Moore was not the same Herman Moore today. And he obviously had the groin thing, and that slowed him down. And then I think when he got hit in the head, that hurt him also. Because when they needed Dick, when they needed him to pick it up right before the half, he only had three catches, then he had four right away, and it looked like he was going to start to bring it on, and then, then he slowed down after he got whacked in the head you're, again. You're right, Matt. Despite the seven catches, in essence, uh, Herman Moore was one missing weapon, really, for the Lions, because yeah. he needs to be at full strength. As he said, when if he's hurt, it's a distraction to him. Well, yeah, and, and more than that, they need him to be at full strength, because he's a guy who can change the game. And then the other guy is Barry Sanders. He had 70 yards and then he hasn't sniffed the ball since he got his 70th yard. Part of that was because they had to play catch-up. Part of it also, I think, is you have to still hand him the ball. Well, Sanders won't get 100. That breaks his string of 14 consecutive games, 10 on the road, and the Packers now will have won their 24th consecutive victory at home. The Miami Dolphins won 27, and the Packers can break that record with a win against, of all people, the San Francisco 49ers on November the 1st. Now, that would be the game if the Packers win all their home games and that one, he'll break the record. There you see Tampa Bay next week. Well, the first three games for the Packers at home are all division games, but they are at home. Third down and eight. Mitchell overthrows you know, with they, 17 seconds. We're talking here about Herman Moore and not being up to stuff, and he still has nine catches for 100 yards. Which just lets you know what kind of a receiver he is. Well, next week, it's big game day with a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader. First, we've got two NFC Central rivals. The Buccaneers will go against these Packers here at Lambeau Field in a battle for the ages. Troy Aikman, John Elway hookup as the Cowboys face the Broncos in the second half of our doubleheader. Coverage begins at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check your local listing. Fourth down and eight with 17 seconds remaining. They're going to be dancing in the streets outside of Lambeau. And the tailgaters will be gone into the early evening for sure with eight seconds remaining. Maybe they'll have one of those pasties that we had yesterday. Well, they were good. Yeah, one of those Upper Peninsula Michigan deals that guy walked in yesterday and just dropped the whole load on us. Mm. And, you know, being the... Being the uh, congenial guy that I am, I had to sit there and eat half of them. That was only an hour after lunch, <laughs> if I recall. 
First down at the 38-yard line. The Cheeseheads enjoying victory number one for the Packers. Try to get the bad taste of the Super Bowl defeat. Start a new year. The Hail Mary could be the final play of the game. Batted down, and the game is over. And the Green Bay Packers have defeated the Detroit Lions by a score of 38-19 to in the opener in a spectacular game with some big plays. Back-to-back -back kickoff returns of 101 and 99 yards. And Leroy Butler with a 32-yard fumble return for a touchdown. And on a gamble, and they're going to be talking about the questionable decision, perhaps, in the first quarter to go for it on fourth down. Barry Sanders does not get 100 for the first time in 15 games. There's, there's my game MVP right there, Roel Preston. If it wasn't for Preston, this game goes a completely different way because Detroit had recaptured what they lost when Terry Fair went for six. Preston got it right back. He changed everything dramatically with the kick return of 99 yards. And Dorsey Levins, welcome back. And he worked today. We'll be back to Lambeau Field. Again, the Packers defeat the Lions 38-19. Due to the length of the football game, we now join the Greater Milwaukee Open, already in progress.